instrument is ideal for flat samples. So it loves flat samples. If you don't give it flat samples, you can still get a measurement, even kind of objects like this, which are also very strong curvature, like a vase. You can do a scan and then you will see which element is associated to what type of pigment. You just see when it goes to the edges that then there's, yeah, there's a shift. But this is a typical thing when you're just measuring something on one side. But in principle, you are not limited to use the instrument in flat objects, but you can use it also for, let's say, curved objects and and get also compositional information, what type of yeah, colors we use in this case, identify the type, this was silica, I think it was some selenium used here for this thing. The amount of materials, in principle, everything can be measured with that. How much information you get depends on the material. You can measure a metal, a piece of plastic paper, actually whatever you want, but you get different amounts of information from depending on the material you want. So we have measured enamels, metals, also a painting here, the paint on glass, textile, paper. That's a nice thing of a copper plate you cannot measure with transmission because if you <coughs> try to get density, it's just the copper that you will see. But in the fluorescence, it's very nice if something is painted on top of, of metal, you get very beautiful information if you're measuring. In the fluorescence, well, this is a stained glass window that was measured by Tagorski in Poland. They have also an M6 and they do a lot of work on on glass windows.